going to be in the New York area and would like free tickets to Can We Shop, just send a stamped self-addressed envelope with your name and address and phone number to Tickets Can We Shop, Columbus Circle Station, P.O. Box 20701, New York, New York, 10023. Do your kids know what to do if there's a fire in your house? Will you be able to get your child out on time if there's a fire in the house? Well, my next guest here has a unique way of teaching kids and adults about fire safety. He's here today to give us some life-saving lessons and to show us a great new tool for preventing fires in children's rooms. Please welcome John Ruiz, better known as the Rapping Fireman. <laughs> Fireman and I'm kicking a groove. Here to teach your kids what to do. On the S to the A to the F E T Y. I'm gonna teach your kids how to survive. On funky beat now, study the groove. Step by step, we go to don'ts in the do. You wanna know who's educating you? It's a rapping fireman and a safety crew. Word. It's a rapping fireman and a safety crew. Word. It's a rapping fireman and a safety crew. Word. It's a rapping fireman and a safety crew. Word. Hi, John. How nice How to meet doing? you. Thank you. Are you a real fireman or yes, a performer? Yes, I am. I'm a New York City fireman. New York, the best, the Thank best you. in the world. Thank I'm telling you, boy. Much. I'm telling you. That's great. Let me ask you, uh, what was the most dangerous fire you ever in? Um, it was up in uh, the South Bronx. It was a uh, tire factory, and the whole block went. And it was uh, it was rough for us and the guys. That's all. Uh, that's a, any of your friends ever heard? Were you ever heard? Yes, I was. Oh. Many times. I've been on the job 11 years. Well, I think you guys are just sensational. Just since I mean, I, I see a fire and boy, you're out there like a, a bat out of hell. And it's, it's wonderful to see you. Thank Let me ask you about children now because you're so involved in this. Uh, children are lost. How many children are lost every day in a fire? Well, three children die daily in a fire. In three 90, children? Yes, in 90% of homes without a working smoke detector. So why do people not have smoke detectors. I don't get it. Before you buy a VCR, you buy a smoke detector. Well, most people do have smoke detectors, but they don't have a working battery inside. And there's one thing that smoke detectors cannot do, and that's work without a battery. Yeah, which makes, makes perfect sense. That's why this is, this is adorable. This is for a child's room, right? That's right. It's and for it nursery. it comes with the battery, so you can't say, well, I didn't have time to go out and buy the battery, which I think is so, so, so important. And it's adorable, and it hangs on a wall, right? That's right. So the child doesn't get scared. And show the good feature that you can test. Is that what okay, this is? Okay, that's right. Okay, these are very easy to test. It's just press the button. Wait a couple of seconds. Okay, this is an 85 decibel unit, which means it's going to wake you up. Right. And it's always good to have more than one smoke detector in the house. Yeah, well, where should you have it? Obviously in the child's room. Where do That's you place right. a smoke a okay. smoke detector like this? You go where in the child's room? Okay, it should be anywhere from 4 inches to 12 inches from the top of the ceiling. Why up? Why not at the bottom? You know why, Joan? Because, you see, smoke rises and hot gases rises. So you want this at a position where the smoke can come into the chambers and alert you and your family that there is a fire right. in your home. Okay, how many, how many alarms should everyone have? I have one in every room. Am I being stupid? No. It's good. To, it's like a collectible. It's good to have more than one right. because it's going to give you those valuable seconds, Joan, that you don't have to begin with to get out alive. Within two minutes, a house can be consumed by fire. How long? Two minutes. How can it be that fast? That's the Just way it is. God, that's incredible. What about, uh, in general, fire drills? Should we have fire? At my house, we always say, remember, also when I go into hotels, I always count doorknobs so I can know where the fire exit is if it's totally black from my room. Okay, in everyone's home, you should have what's known as exit drills in the home. Know exactly where your doors are, where your windows are, where your fire escapes are, and draw a little map. God knows how many times my kids are in the refrigerator. Put a little picture of that map right by the refrigerator. So as the child is opening the door, he's seeing exactly how to plan to get out alive. I think it's terrific. Will you come back again? Yes, I think I this will. is terrific. You have children? Yes, I How do. How many? Three. Three. Do you have this up? Yes, I do. Yeah, is that cute? Any kid would like it. If you're a girl, it comes with a bow. <laughs> so you can make it a little girl, or you can make it a gay fire dog. And, uh, <laughs> last thing, why are Dalmatians fire dogs? Why um, is that the traditional They're long-winded, and they've been on, in our tradition for over 100 years. Right. And they used to race in front of the fire trucks to stop the traffic. Oh, 
Oh, I learned more on this show. Thank you very much. And Deborah, will you tell us how to get this cute, adorable, wonderful lawn that comes with its own battery? If you'd like to order the Safety Sake Smoke Alarm, it's item number Y126 and priced at only $19.95. Back to you, Joan. Thank you, Deborah. And we'll be right back with four fun ways to reach out and touch someone. Stay with us.